kicking off a new series for our NBA Infinite Ranked Journey called Road to Hall of Fame, where I showcase my best matches along the path and share gameplay of the players I use along the way. This first match, I am going to showcase my newly max player, which is the Rank 7 Epic Lamella Ball coming in at 90 overall. So let's do a quick deep dive into Lamella Ball because I'm not just hyping him up. This guy is one of the best playmakers in the game. His exclusive skills expedite his service. So anyone he passes the ball to and they're wide open, their shooting stats are going to increase, right? You can see mid-range goes up 3-point field goal along with the dunk rate, the open dunk rate, and the contested dunk rate. And then if you max out the expedited service, you can also max out his dominance, which allows his teammates to gain increased movement speed. Now, what's really crazy is his core skills, right? He has precision pass. Whoever gets the pass, their shooting stats go up automatically. And when you max out precision pass, they get an additional bonus on top of that. So you can see the three-point and a mid-range attribute goes up, and then there's a bonus on top of that as well. He also has special delivery. So his pass success rate goes up, and whoever he passes the ball to, their shooting stats are going to increase as well, whether they open or not. As far as his core moves, he has nimble crossover at level three, layup fake and pass, which is an incredible skill. When you're driving for a layup and you think you're about to miss, you tap the pass button, and it will hit an open teammate. He also has a step back shot, which allows him to be more of an offensive weapon as well. Look at his stats, A15 speed, which makes him incredibly quick. 861 three-point shot, mid-range is 64, which is pretty decent, dunk is 638, which is decent, 693 for the layup, 824 for dribble, which makes him really crafty, 921 for pass, which makes him like one of the best playmakers in the game for sure, and a 683 for steal, which is really good and is very important for a point guard. Makes it really easy for him to get the steals off the centers and forwards who can't dribble. The Samela Ball is a playmaker, one of the flashiest passers in the game. His precision passing really can help out in a clutch situation. So we're teaming up with a Van Matabayo and an Aaron Gordon. I actually think this is a pretty good team. Aaron Gordon is a very good rebounder. The Aaron Gordon is also maxed out. And Van Matabayo is a decent center, pretty agile. He has a decent mid-range as well, and he could rebound the ball. We're going up against another Van Matabayo, a Jordan Poole, and a Kyrie Irving. That's a pretty rare card you don't see often. He is definitely a tough matchup, and that is who I'm going to have to guard in this game. So... It should be interesting. We got the acceleration master right there, but instead of driving to the rim, I decided to pass it out. Try to get open. Van Matabayo frees himself up against the mid-range in there. So that is his sweet spot, right? It's always very important to look at the player's hot spots. Lamella Ball does have a few more areas that he can shoot from, especially with the upgrades. It definitely allows him to take advantage of his offensive skill set. So Van Matabayo gets the rebound right there. We reset it from the top. We're going to hit Kyrie with a little crossover. We take advantage of that screen, and I want to test the jump shot because the mid-range could fall down, but I was not in my hot zone, so that definitely didn't go the way I wanted it to. Bam out of by with an incredible offensive rebound. Those type of plays win games for sure, but the shot selection didn't work out in that case because the other Bam did contest it heavily. And that worked out for Jordan Poole because he was able to hit that three-point shot. He is a player that hits shots even if he's moderately contested, but Poole is a good budget player. We get another opportunity to show that we can get buckets, little crossover behind the back dribble That's because of the upgraded nimble crossover, allowed us to drive to the rim. And with the height advantage, it makes it tougher for other guards to block our shots. Now, Kyrie, you know, is going to get crafted with it. It's a really tough matchup between Kyrie, Damian Lillard, and Curry. They give me the business for sure. Like, I'm not even going to lie, especially with the step back shot. I think it's pretty tough to guard sometimes. So we got the loose ball. We took advantage of our speed. Passed it out to Bam. Again, Bam got the mid-range, right? But Aaron Gordon is open, so that was actually a better pass from our teammate. But we got the rebound, and we got the put back. Another advantage of LaMelo Ball is height, and he's a really good rebounder for a point guard. I think he's actually one of the best in the game. But now we try to basically stop the momentum for the defense. And we're going to get the rebound here. We're going to pass it right back to Aaron Gordon and see if he can set something up. He is an incredible slasher. If not, we're going to move around and try to get open. I mean, we got a three-point lead. It's not the craziest. But now with that five-point lead, it gives us a bit of a, more of a cushion. Now we're moving around. The goal here is just to stop Kyrie Irving. 
I don't want to give him any free opportunities. Now, Jordan Poole is lighting up Aaron Gordon, but that's because of the speed difference, right? Jordan Poole is a good card. We're going to go around the screens and bang. The mellow ball with the dunk. One of his special moves, that acceleration master, and combine that with a crossover or the spin move whirlwind, he could definitely make things happen. Now, we did take advantage of that steal. I think Kyrie Irving might have been AFK. We're going to take advantage of that. That's a free opportunity there. Aaron Gordon could have hit me in the corner, but luckily, Bam Adebayo got the putback dunk. So an upgraded Bam could do things like that, and that's why I do think he's a bit underrated at the center position. Um, a lot of people use Brooke Lopez. He's easier to upgrade. I see a lot of Carl Anthony Towns, but he's not really a traditional center, right? He plays out in the wing most of the time. And then Joan Blue is easy to upgrade. But we did force the team to forfeit. We got ourselves the MVP win. And I think this Max Lamella ball is going to work out pretty good for this journey. And I hope that you enjoy this series because it's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to be showcasing a lot of different players. But of course, they're going to be some of my favorites. And upon this, we got another win, another star, and we got the MVP.